Welcome to DraftingTutorials.com. My name is Casey Kepley. In today's video, I'm going to be covering the uh, break command. And uh, this is used for uh, breaking a line uh, that you don't need. So just to give you an example here, this line right here is a hidden line. And this is representing um, uh, wall cabinets on a, a kitchen. So you may notice when I highlight this this line here, I've got cabinets that are running um, over the sink. Okay. Now, if I don't want those cabinets running over the sink and I want to take them out, I'm gonna have to break this uh, hidden line, um, probably right here and right about there. Okay. So I'll take this line. If you're looking at my cursor, I'll take this line in between those two highlighted items I'll take that out so in order to do that you're gonna go up here to the command and type in break alright and it's gonna say select object so what you do is you select object and you may notice now that it gives me a point so I can select a, a break point um, I'm just gonna go ahead and go over here to the very edge of that uh, uh, line that I had highlighted earlier we're gonna click on it and then I'm going to type in break again, enter, and we're going to do the second portion of this line because I still have to break it over here on the right hand side. So we'll, we'll take it over here to the edge of this line. Okay, now the break command has now divided that line in two. So now I can get rid of that line right there. And that is how you use the break command. Um, you can use this on just about anything you want, you know, walls, uh, different objects, but it's really good for, for situations kind of like what I just showed you there with the, uh, the wall cabinets. Um, that's all I have for today. If you found this information beneficial, go ahead and share and like it, and uh, also subscribe to the channel. Uh, I've got multiple videos and playlists going right now, and I'm reverse engineering these uh, software applications for drafting so if you're just needing to brush up on some skills or you know go back and look at a couple things that you may have forgot uh, you can you can do that with my channel I'm making usually about a video to two videos per week um, on different subjects and topics within AutoCAD, Revit and Inventor so if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so like and share the video and I will talk to you guys later thank you